Hey guys, it's Gemma aka Aussie Bookworm and I know I promised I would do a bookshelf tour for my next video but turns out I'm, I lied. Sorry. It, I'll do it, I promise, just not right now. Okay, anyway, let me set the scene for you. It is Saturday evening. Um, I had just finished watching uh, season four Stranger Things for the second time in two months. I'm recovering from a cold and I'm mopping the floors listening to Harry Potter 5. Um, and you know, the one of the main antagonists in that book is Dolores Umbridge, who, if you ask anyone to describe her, they would say she's evil and she's super girly. And so I'm listening to this and it just kind of starts this thought process that I've been having for a while now because I've been really re-listening to all the Harry Potter books um, and how JK Rowling um, and not JK Rowling specifically but how women and girls are portrayed in literature specifically young adult fantasy sci-fi dystopian novels um, and yeah so I, I guess I that that's what this video is kind of about like how they're portrayed, how I see them being portrayed and um, the effect that I think it has on girls and the effect it's had on me. Um, so yeah, listening to Harry Potter 4 um, with Fleur's character, I started getting a little bit irritated and this is the first time I've really noticed this, um, but in saying that I haven't read the book since 2015, so like that's quite a long time and obviously I've matured and grown a lot since then. Um, and anyway, Fleur's character in Goblet of Fire is just like, like, what's the purpose of her? And I feel like she's a filler character. Um, I really like Fleur. Like, I was obsessed with Fleur for a little bit of my life. Okay? She was great. I love Fleur. That's not my point. My point is, there's one girl in the Triwizard Tournament, right? out of four and she pretty much loses every single round and then her storyline ends up her being married to you know Bill Weasley um and like she's pretty much just a bitch until Harry saves her sister and then she's like oh thank you French accent uh -huh. um <laughs> yeah so that kind of is starting to irritate me a bit, bit. And then we get to book five and Dolores is really girly and I just have noticed, I guess I'm noticing in Harry Potter the way that girls are portrayed um, and it's generally that like the only ones who are really worthy of anything are like Hermione um, who is like super smart and um, Ginny who's a tomboy, more on that later. I guess Luna, but like they make fun of her a lot. And I'm not getting like I'm not getting down on Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter, it's one of my favourite series ever. Um but yeah, anyway, so I started thinking about how like what type of characters um girls are in books, and specifically those genres. And you find time and time again that the main character, if the main character is a girl, um, she is a tomboy. And she rejects and shuns all typically like feminine and girly things. Um, and I love that character. Like I identify with it pretty well. Um, like just rattling off the top of my brain, like I was thinking about it before. Like you've got the chick from Divergent, Katniss from Hunger Games, you've got Cinder, um, from that, the Cinder trilogy, I know there's four of those books whatever it is. And I know there are some girly characters in there, but the first one off the rank is Cinder, who's a tomboy. Um, Ellie from Florida and the Wolf again. Um, the chick from the Ashes trilogy. Like, literally almost all of the characters are tomboys who reject feminine girly things. Even, oh, what's her name? Clary. Mortal Instruments, one of my favourite series ever. Um, she, like, rejects everything girly. 
And then like you have Isabel, who actually is an amazing character and who's very feminine and embraces that and she's still badass. So go cast Claire for that. Um, but yeah, typically there's this tomboy vibe and I was thinking about why is that? And the cynic in me, she thinks it's because in order to prove that a main character is worth rooting for, she kind of almost has to be a boy. You know, like she has to be not just your typical girly girl, but someone who stands out, someone who's like more boyish, someone who not only girls, but boys can get behind. Um, someone who's tough and strong. And I just, it kind of pisses me off because you can be girly and like pink, which is just a color and still be worthy of being a strong, badass female character. Even if you like sewing and dancing and, you know, tutus or whatever it is. Um, and so, yeah, I, I guess I just want to open a dialogue about that, see what other people thought, because, um, yeah, I, th I think it, it does really affect people when you are only creating this character. The main character is this tomboy. So I know for me growing up, I also grew up in a rural community on a farm and no one ever came out and said it, but I rejected all things girly because being girly meant being weak. And I think that comes from two things like, my environment how i grew up but also from the books i read and i have always read and i've mostly always read young adult um and i felt like i identified so much with those characters i love those characters but as i've grown up like you know in the last five years or so i've realized that it's okay to like pink and to wear dresses and just to like chat with my girlfriends and um, like there's nothing wrong with that. And I, I would really like to see more strong female characters in young adult who aren't that typical tomboy trope. Um, and it's funny because I'm a writer and I have a trilogy that I'm writing and my main character is a tomboy like I probably wouldn't come out and call her a tomboy but she's a tomboy like she is and then I'm just like ah oh, I've bought into this I've somehow replicated it and I don't know I guess unless we we actually talk about it and acknowledge it um maybe that's just what's going to keep happening and I think like I I could do have no, like most of them are just thinking about my book. And in the first book, the two of the main characters are really um, more tomboyish. And then, yeah, in the second book, one of the other characters is not. She's actually like, quite feminine um, and really strong and amazing. And I think I would really like to see more of that, more Izzy's, more Sasha's. Um, so yeah, I would love to know if you can recommend any YA dystopian kind of books where the female character embraces being girly. Um, and I think that's me out. Sorry if this isn't the type of video you wanted to see, but it's the type of video I wanted to make. So, bye.